yeah, just a weird situation. It happened to me once before in uh, Philly as well. Uh, so maybe just too much intake at halftime or something like that. Just all came back up. What a crazy change of emotion, Wondolowski with the PK, and all of a sudden it's over three minutes later. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've, we've been, we've seen ourselves on the wrong side of those, and now finally we feel like maybe we're on the right side of one. So, you know, we've, we've said from day one that those things tend to even themselves out. So maybe this was one of those games where we uh, obviously get a bit, a little bit lucky there. Uh, maybe the turf takes it, takes it wide, uh, so we can thank the turf for that. Um, but yeah, it's just, like you said, a, a swing of emotions, you know, from deflated to giving up a pen that late to then uh, scoring another one and sealing the game. Ziggy talked about six points being the goal of the last two matches. You did that. You guys feel good. Morris on the score sheet. Good night all around. Yeah, well, Clint and, and Morris are two strikers on the score sheet. That is uh, extremely important, and we held it to zero. So all around a good team effort tonight. I thought there were moments where um, we probably played our best uh, soccer of, of the year. Uh, I know that guys felt comfortable out there. A lot of one-two combinations, um, and guys were, were working really hard tonight. Um, and we know that we have a really tough swing. I don't think we play here again until like June 25th or something like that. Um, so we, we, we needed to get points now to give ourselves not only confidence going on the road, but we got two games there where it's it's a quick turnaround in, on the East Coast, and, and, and that'll be tough. So give us confidence, but also uh, hopefully a little bit of a cushion going in this road swing. Your thoughts of Eric Freeberg's performance in front of you tonight? Yeah, always good. Uh, I always I really enjoy uh, having him in front of me. I like playing with him in the midfield, so obviously I'm going to like uh, playing behind him as well. Uh, he makes himself readily available, uh, and he's always, always looking forward. And he's uh, he just sees the game different than most, uh, but he can also defend. So he's a he's a box to box type of midfielder um, and that can change games especially playing against a 4-4-2 things tend to open up a little bit more and for him tonight he found a lot of space and a lot of high quality passes and skipping through the line so yeah a v just a very good player it's familiarity between the players starting to cause some creativity influence <clears throat> Yeah, I think playing against a 4-4-2 also, uh, you know, when they play two strikers up top, they have one less in the midfield, and I think that allows our team to skip through the lines and, and guys find a little bit more space on the ball and a little bit more um, time uh, to, to create and, and find players' um, feet. And also <clears throat> bouncing around one-twos, overlaps, giving goes, uh, things like that. So um, creativity, yeah. Uh, but also we've got everybody healthy, minus uh, big one in Roman. So guys are starting to get fit at the right time, and it's pushing guys. You know, everybody wants to stay on the field. At the same time, the guys coming in uh, off of injury are now pushing guys in front of them too. So you got to put the work in, number one. Do you attribute any of that additional control and space to Eric being back and his style and what he brings? Yeah, I think if I'm another team, I notice subtle differences when there's lineup changes. So I think when I see Christian and Ozzy playing in the midfield, it's more defensive minded um, and more side to side. Um, Ozzy's, you know, taken a few chances and risks that he didn't in the past, and that's a, com a combination of him being, you know, two in the middle and with Christian especially because he's not as attack minded. Uh, but then when somebody sees Eric on the field, you know that. If you don't pressure him at the right time, he's going to find the forward pass. And a lot of times tonight, he found himself uh, with time and space able to make a forward pass, and that can change a game for, for any team. Your thoughts on uh, Chad Barrett tonight, going against him, your former yeah. team? Yeah, I mean, you know, you always expect uh, him to be flying tonight, and he did from minute one. He was, he was extremely active. Uh, he's a strong player. Um, you know, as soon as you look away and you start to get in your position, he'll throw you a little elbow. Uh, so there's no love lost on the field when, when wins are on the line. And I expect nothing less from him, and uh, he expects nothing less from us. So um, good, for, good for Chad and I uh, you know, to keep a clean sheet against two quality strikers tonight, albeit a little bit lucky on one, chance, one or two chances. So it's good. Given how he's kind of burned you guys in the past, what was sort of going through your mind when you see Wanda stepping up to the Penn? spot so late in the game? Yeah, I don't know. I actually felt confident in, in the situation. Um, I have to. Uh, you know, obviously, when, when the penalty's called, you feel a little bit deflated that late in the game, like we said before. But at the same time, I got confidence in Steph, and, and our crowd got insanely loud at that moment uh, on the field. So hope that definitely, definitely helped out uh, on our side.